some nice guitars, huh? Yeah, thank you. I, I have a, a few. <clears throat> the red one I was playing earlier, that one I actually got through Brian Setzer. He had just, that's his model. So he was kind of responsible for me getting that one. I had it painted, put some TV Jones pickups in it. Uh, those are Ray Butts pickups I really like. Uh, and then I have a white falcon that I painted pink, sparkle. That one's pretty crazy. I use that with the heartaches a lot. And then I have, and with Lee. And then I have uh, another orange one that's an Eddie Cochran model. That's also been pinstriped, an orange one. They're all so fun and they're very different. Um, the, the orange one is more traditional sounding, so if I feel that way, I like to play that one. Um, this one is in between, it's very Chet Atkins sounding. So if I feel that, and then the pink one, has a little more oomph to it, so that one to me is a little more Stray cat. So it just depends on the, my mood and what I feel and how I want to play it for the night. And also what my outfit is, because I can match my shoes to the colors of my guitar. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> I had a lot of influences originally musically. I think uh, I was a doo-wop fan. My father had some doo-wop albums, and I loved the harmonies. And then later I got into a lot of 50s rock and roll, obviously, because it was all about the same time period. And uh, I got into Rockabilly Guys, and I enjoyed the Beatles' early stuff, too. And then I saw the Stray Cats in 1991, and I, I, my girlfriend brought me to see them, and I was a fan, but I wasn't a super fan. And I went to see them play, and I was just blown away. And that was it. I said, I'm going to do that. And the next day I dropped out of school. I was in college. I dropped out and I started focusing on playing full time. And then a million years later I started playing with Lee. So I guess it was a, a good choice. I love Telecasters. I love Stratocasters. But I'll always be a Holabody Gretsch guy. So as long as it's a Holabody Gretsch, I don't care which one. My orange one's great. My red one's great. I love my sparkle pink one. They all have something different, they're all, but they're all, any one of those I'd be happy with if that was all I could It's just a unique sound. Yeah. It's like a Hammond. Yeah. Nothing like it. And the, and the feel of it, and the big body, and the whole thing. I've always, that was why I played hollow bodies. There was, I played acoustic guitar originally, and when I went to hollow body, it was natural. It was big. The skinny, small guitars didn't feel that. So, yeah, always a hollow body. Unique sound, especially Gretsch. Very specific sound. When you hear a Stratocaster, you know it's a Strat, and when you hear a Gretsch, there's no question it's a Gretsch. 